What's up everybody and welcome back to the John Q channel. In today's video, I'm reacting to TikTok trends you probably shouldn't do when you get pulled over by the police. So let's get into it. So here's the first one giving the officer my wallet as fast as possible to save him time. And yes, this is a very clear example of what might happen to you if you pull out your wallet really fast from either the appendix carry or kind of like three or four o'clock carry. I get that this video is made to be funny, but when you grab your wallet like this and then you present it really quick, that tells an officer, hey, this person might have a gun. Okay, here's this one. Me telling the cop I can't go out like this. It's supposed to rain later. I would assume if you were in this position already, it's not very good for you because you're doing something wrong or you're not listening to the officer. But if you're doing this and then you go and lunge and reach for something in your truck or vehicle, it's not going to play out very, very good for you. Like, it, <laughs> yeah, please don't do this, you guys. Don't even try to reach for your wallet very quickly. It just, it's not gonna work out. <laughs> License and registration. Okay. Here you go, officer. Hold on, officer. Hold on, it's right here. It's right here. Here you go. Here you go, officer. Hold on, officer. It's it's somewhere here. It's somewhere here. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Uh, hold on, officer. It's in the back. Here you go. That might be the worst one. Going and saying, hold on, officer. I have the wallet on me. Hold on, it's in the back. And you lunge to the back. That door will swing open and you're gonna get pulled out very, very quickly and put to the ground. I'm just thinking about being on a traffic stop, asking the driver, hey, get your license with you. And he or she starts doing <laughs> whatever these people are doing. My red flags will go ding, ding, ding. Like, hey, there's something wrong here. They're reaching their hands. Like, remember what we talked about? These right here are the most deadly thing on someone. And it's, it's no bueno. All right, here's this one. Pulling out my wallet as fast as I possibly can to save the cop some time. As you're walking up, you see this right here. This guy just kind of peeping like, hey, is he coming? He looks like he's doing something wrong. Now that to me right there, I don't know that that's a wallet. The officer doesn't know that that's a wallet. The officer thinks that's what? Probably a freaking gun. And then he presents it like how you would present a gun when you would shoot a target. And then he continues to hold the wallet like you would a gun. I'm willing to bet if this actually happened in real life, the guy would get mag dumped and it would be a bad day for everybody. Here's the next one. Me pulling out my wallet as fast as I can to avoid wasting the cop's time. Oh, that's, oh gosh, okay. <laughs> oh, so many red flags here. Number one red flag, his arms are up which means he did something wrong or he thinks he did something wrong. Flag number two, he reads for his appendix area. What's the most likely place to carry a gun? On the waistband. And then he reached for it. So yeah, that's automatically, hey, that's, don't do that. You're gonna get shot. Flag number three, he starts to run towards us or towards the police officer while he's reaching in his waistband. Wait, that's wrong one. No. Nope, there it is, that you don't do that, you guys. As he's running towards the police officer, you can obviously see there's a gun. Where? On the waistband. Oh boy. <laughs> Some people's IQ are just, it's not, they're not there. Here's another one. Quickly grabbing my wallet to save the officer as much time as possible. All right, let's watch it. Okay, hand on the steering wheel. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop it right there. If a police officer is walking up to you, okay, sure you have one hand on the steering wheel, and then immediately as we come to the driver's side window, the driver reaches for the glove compartment, brings it down, <laughs> and starts to, oh my, this is, I can't. Here's the thing though, people actually do this, like in real life, not because of a TikTok trend or, or try to be funny, but people actually do this because they have no self-awareness or they just don't know like proper, I guess, traffic stop etiquette. <laughs> and right here, this shot, as he's bringing out the wallet, we know it's a wallet because it's funny and because we know what's going on, but an officer sees that, he thinks it's either a gun or a knife, most likely a gun. We'll take out his gun and you're gonna get mag dumped. And here's my wallet, he's smiling, but he will not be smiling when he goes to take his forever nap. <laughs> All right, here's another one. I just wanted to give the officer my wallet as quick as possible and get past this embarrassing moment. And the way he's reaching, I mean, just, oh my gosh. The way even he reaches for his wallet would tell an officer, hey, he's grabbing a gun from his waistband in that kind of motion and then bringing it out like he would a gun. That's a no-go for me. Yeah, that guy is for sure getting mag dump and 
forever taking the nap. All right, here's another one. Me giving the officer my wallet as fast as possible to make his job easier. Good Lord, you guys, please stop doing this. Don't actually do this on a traffic stop. Even the way he's holding his wallet makes you makes you think. Like, we know it's a wallet, but we also think, oh, he's probably got a gun because he's grabbing it. Look how he's looking at the camera. Look at that. And then look at where his hands are in the glove compartment. Right there, that shot to me looks like a gun. Please. Please don't do this. This is wild. Here, here's one more. You're an officer pulling me over, but I respect you and your time, so I pull out my wallet as fast as I can. Sir, can I get your license and registration, please? Uh, hey, officer, is there a problem? Uh, can I get your license and registration, please? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. He Obviously, there's a traffic stop, and he goes, officer, is there a problem? I need your license and registration. He's like, oh, yeah, no problem. Looks around. His hands are nowhere to be present, like you can't see them. So obviously there's something fishy. I mean, all the red flags for an officer to say otherwise if there was a traffic stop and something like this happened because of a silly TikTok trend. So what did we learn today, ladies and gentlemen? Please don't do stupid TikTok trends while you're being pulled over by a police officer, state trooper, etc. Unless you want to be really funny and then end up having to take that forever nap, by all means, go for it but I don't think most of us want to do that. Just take your hands, put them on the steering wheel, and just do what the officer says. And don't do it in a fast motion like this because, yeah, okay. <laughs> and that is all for today's video, guys. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and share the video. If you wanna see more reaction videos like this one, comment down below, and I will see you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.